Hi, Rob McIver here. Let's meet the Greek alphabet and do some thinking about how to make learning it easier. There are several things going for us as we learn the Greek alphabet, mainly because the alphabet was invented only once. And the principles are the same for the English and the Greek alphabet. For example, most of the letters are in the same order. English goes A, B, C, D, E. Greek goes alpha, beta, gamma, delta, epsilon. You can hear the sounds a, b, d, and e are in the same order in both alphabets. The Greek letter gamma, the G sounds a bit out of order, but the rest are in the same order. Just as in English, the first sound of the name of the Greek letter is the sound the letter represents. So that's the first thing to learn, the names of the letters of the Greek alphabet. So here are the lowercase letters and their names. I'm going to read out the name and leave a short pause. In that pause, why not repeat back the name? After all, involving as many of the senses as possible is the best way to learn new materials. In learning languages, this means saying them out loud as well as just reading them. After all, languages were spoken for a long time before they were written down. Here goes. Alpha. Beta. Gamma, Delta, Epsilon, Zeta, Eta, Theta, Iota, Kappa, Lambda, Mu, Nu, Xi, Omicron, or Omicron. Pi, Rho, Sigma, Tau, Upsilon, or Upsilon, Phi, Chi, Psi, Omega. Now let's look at some of these letters more closely. You will see that the letter Sigma has got a regular form and a final form. Take, for example, the word staso, which uses a sigma as the first letter and as the fourth letter. It's the regular sigma in both cases. The word cosmos, which means, as you might expect, world or cosmos, uses a regular sigma in the third letter, but uses the final sigma on the last letter. Now, like English, Greek distinguishes between consonants and vowels. The English vowels are A, E, I, O, and U, five. The Greek has seven vowels, and this is because it has both a short E sound and a long E sound, and a short O sound and a long O sound. This table here shows that the short E sound is an epsilon, and the long E sound is an eta. It also shows the short O sound is an omicron, and the long O sound is an omega. So there are seven Greek vowels, alpha, epsilon, eta, iota, omicron, omicron, upsilon, omega. Iota can be written underneath another vowel and is then called an iota subscript. We have some examples here. Here is an alpha with an iota subscript, an eta with an iota subscript, and omega with a iota subscript. And the iota subscript is found in the word sozo, which means heal or save. You only need to know that such a thing exists at this stage. Here are the uppercase letters. As in English, New Testament Greek uses uppercase letters for the names of people, the names of places, the beginning of a quoted speech, and the beginning of a paragraph. Unlike English, though, New Testament Greek does not necessarily begin a sentence with a capital letter. The end result is that capital letters are used slightly less frequently in New Testament Greek than in the equivalent English. Most of the uppercase letters are as you might expect. For example, an A sound is represented by a character that looks very much like an English capital A. 
a B sound by a equivalent letter, an epsilon by a letter, and the other ones are kappa, mu, nu, omicron, tau. So they're all reasonably straightforward. Even the unfamiliar ones, or slightly new ones, you may recognize. For example, Omega is the name of a well-known watch brand, and you see the symbol Omega on the advertising for that brand. And some of these other new characters, such as Gamma, Delta, Theta, Psi, Psi, Phi, some of them will be familiar as well. There are some gotchas, though. The biggest probably is capital Rho, followed closely by capital Eta, because they are represented by characters that have a different sound than R and Eta, A, in English. Upsilon may be a mild gotcha. Uh, that's one you'll get used to. Now, I have noticed that my students who concentrate mainly on the lowercase letters, once they've mastered the lowercase letters, uh, they easily absorb the uppercase letters. So perhaps the uppercase letters won't be such a big learning task as learning the lowercase letters. So perhaps for you too, learning the uppercase letters may be less of a challenge than learning the lowercase letters. You may be interested to hear how to make it easier to learn the Greek alphabet. Well, there's several things we can think of. First, learn how to write the Greek alphabet by hand. And once you've done that, learn to write out the Greek alphabet from alpha to omega by writing it out, practicing writing it out sequentially, and keep doing this till you can do it, and practice every day or so until you know that it's well established in your memory. Now the next step is to learn how to pronounce Greek words, and also the process of transliteration. And once you've done that, to use this knowledge in some exercises using the Greek alphabet and using transliteration, such as the exercises found in Chapter 1 of my textbook, Beginning New Testament Greek Made Easier. Now to do this, you'll need some more information, won't you? You will need information on how to write the New Testament Greek letters, how to pronounce the words, and about transliteration. Now, there are two further videos in the series where I explain these things. Let me read their titles. Handwriting New Testament Greek, New Testament Greek Pronunciation, Accents, Breathing Marks, and Transliteration. You can most easily find these videos by either subscribing to my YouTube channel at NT Greek Made Easier, or by following me on x.com at Rob McIver 2024. These videos follow chapter one of my book, Beginning New Testament Greek Made Easier. Let's just say if you watch these two further videos and you do the exercise in chapter one in the book, you will have no trouble writing Greek letters by hand and you'll have made significant progress in learning how to pronounce Greek words found in the New Testament. And hey, if you found this video useful, why not let me know by either clicking on the like button below or by clicking on the heart icon. Thank you.